Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and today I have the Ghost Shotgun Caddies to review for you. Now, I was very kindly given these by AW Armoury and I will be honest, it has taken me far longer to get a video out about these than I would have liked. And that's mainly because I lost excitement over these and enthusiasm over these. And when I make a video for you guys, when certainly a review product video, I want to be enthusiastic. I want to be showing you the product because I genuinely want you to go out and buy it because I think it's you know, a great product or I think it's better than anything else on the market. And although I was incredibly excited to review these when I first got them, when I started using them and other shooting friends started using them, I quickly saw the flaws in them. I lost excitement, I lost enthusiasm on them, and I wasn't really inspired to make a video. However, it is important, I think, to have constructive criticism out there on products. If you're looking for new caddies and you want to have both sides of the story, somebody raving about them and someone pointing out the flaws, that's just as important. So I thought it was about time to get a video out about these and show you what I thought about them. Now, as you can see, these use a sort of metal spring clip mechanism, which I think is absolutely great. And for quad loading, these are far better than the caddies that I use already, which is the Tacoms. These are much lighter, much easier to pull out than the Tacoms, where you, you can sometimes get snagged when you're you're trying to pull four out in one go. These are so much easier. You don't have to use hardly any force to pull them out. They just snap right out. However, th these mechanisms are why, personally, I don't want to use them. And it's because of worrying. It's because of that little niggle in the back of your mind of, is your gear going to trip you up? Which I absolutely hate. You guys will know, when I buy gear and I use it, for competitions, I don't want to be thinking about it. I just want it to do its job and work. However, with these, you have to be fearful that with a little jogging, which obviously with practical shotgun, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of running about, your shells are gonna fall out. And this is because after a lot of use, these can become less taut and the shells can just fall out. And you can see that these have obviously had less use and are still gripping it quite well. Now, to combat these, or this issue, you have to either keep a mind on these and keep pushing them in and make sure they're quite taut and, and gripping the shotgun shell. But after a while, just like with any metal that fatigues, you're gonna have to replace them. And I don't want either option. I don't want to be starting a stage thinking about all the other things that are in my head, plus are these in the right position? Are my shells gonna fall out? And another great feature about these, which is the, the backing, you basically get a tech lock for free with them and you can easily choose whatever angle you want, just like with the Ghost holsters that I've reviewed previously. You can't really use it because if you want to choose the angle that you really want and it's on a bit of a slope, then it's gonna just be easier for the shotgun shell to fall out. So. Really, if you want to use them, they have to be upright. And I've seen lots of people using them that way and having a lot of success. And as I said, for quad loading, and if you're just starting out with quad loading, having any sort of resistance can trip you up. So these are absolutely great for that. But for me, I primarily dual load. I've never quad loaded in a competition. Personally, for me, I think I'm far faster dual loading. So that benefit of being able to snap them out is, is really not a benefit when compared to all the negatives. Well, the negatives of potentially losing shells on a stage, which would be absolutely disastrous. Now, the other thing that is a negative for me is the price. Now, as I said, I was given these, so it wasn't like I had to think about that. But when looking at how much they are, these the, the eight capacity is around 60 pound and the four capacity is around 45 pound. When comparing them to the Tacoms that I paid my own money for, the Tacom eight up, the equivalent to this, is 35 pound. Okay, you then have to go out and buy a tech lock for another tenner, making it around 45 pound, but that's still 15 pound cheaper than these. And I have to say that although you do get the free backing, it's not as good as the tech lock. You obviously have to screw out the mechanism or you take out these screws to get it off. With the tech lock, it's a clip. You just 
clip it off and clip it on. With this, it takes a lot longer to put it on your belt or take off your belt. But in terms of the price, you can see where the money has gone. If I remove these shells to give you a better look, you can see that there is a lot more components on here than the tacoms. The tacoms are just three bits of plastic, which admittedly for 35 quid, I think is quite expensive. You can see that you're getting a lot more design here you're getting a lot more components obviously these have had to be fitted together so i can see where the money has gone but compared to the tacoms which for me do a better job these are a lot more expensive but as i said i wanted to get this video out there because somebody may see these and go actually that's exactly what i've looking i'm looking for and this issue isn't going to bother me and snap them up and as i said i think it's important to have constructive reviews whether they're good or bad so because i'm not going to be uh, using this as part of my competitive setup i'm going to be giving them away as part of the 10,000 subscriber giveaway AW Armoury have very kindly agreed to sponsor a day which they'll be giving away a few other goodies but I'm going to include these as well because they're only just going to sit on my shelf and over a hundred pounds worth of caddies I don't think is good to have sat on your shelf. These should be used and if somebody absolutely likes the look of these and wants to give them a try they can have the opportunity to win them. So go and check out the 10,000 subscriber giveaway if you are interested. But there you go guys, those are my thoughts and opinions. As I said they're still a really high quality product. I really do like the design of them but unfortunately the execution um, and the actual performance of them hasn't been up to my expectations but there you go thank you very much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you found it useful and as always i hope to see you soon